Netflix's Wednesday Adams is coming out soon, and everyone's been asking about it. When does it come out? How long is it? Is it a movie or a television show? Why does Gomez Adams look so different? Well, as usual, we're here to answer your questions with all the details we could find out. Right, sit back and grab a snack as we quickly go through what we know. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, crack that notification Quack. bell, and all that spooky stuff. Right, the new Adams Family Netflix series focuses on Wednesday Adams as she attends a school for superpower teenagers. Obviously, Wednesday doesn't have superpowers, but she does have a special ability. More on this in a bit. While Wednesday is there, she's caught up in a murder mystery that she just has to solve. Netflix has described the series as a sleuthing supernatural infused mystery. Consider our interest peaked. The official synopsis for this show is as follows. Wednesday follows Wednesday Adams' years as a student when she attempts to master her emerging psychic abilities thwart to solve the murder that embroiled her parents. Good luck! And just recently, Vanity Fair released a first look photo for Wednesday Adams' cast, and we've got to say that the cast looks great. However, there's been a lot of talk online about how Gomez Adams looks so different from what we're used to seeing in the previous movies. The reason for this stems from Tim Burton and a 110-year-old comic strip. Yes, Netflix landed the master of goth and creepy himself, Tim Burton, for this series. Would you believe that he's never done anything related to the Adams family before? A lot of people think he did the first two live action films, but that was Men in Black director Barry Sonnenfeld. The series consists of eight episodes and the producers have described this as an eight hour long Tim Burton movie and we are there for it. Now on to the 110 year old comic strip. The Adams Family comic was created by Charles Adams on January 7th 1912 and if you've seen any of Tim Burton's art then you can definitely see the influence it had on the director. You can also see elements of the Adams Family in movies such as Frankenweenie, Edward Scissorhands, Go ahead smile it's funny, Corpse Bride, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Sweeney Todd, Miss Pellegrin's Home for Peculiar Children, and more. Just look at the first look photo compared to this illustration from Charles Adams. Familiar, right? Most Adams Family movies and shows have used this style of image. Speaking of the first look photo, we have Catherine Zeta-Jones as Matisha Adams, Louise Guzman as Gomez Adams, Jenna Ortega as Wednesday, Isaac Ordonez as Pugsley, George Basia as Lurch, and Victor Dorabantu as playing Thing. From what we've learned, we're going to see a lot of Wednesday's relationship with Morticia through the eight episodes. How is she supposed to live up to someone as glamorous as her mother? Combine that with Wednesday being annoyed by the over-affection of her parents and you have the perfect teenage Adams. She's not afraid of anything creepy, just her parents' over-the-top affection for one another. Later, my dearest. But small screen, what about Uncle Fester, you ask? Well, the only thing we could find out about Uncle Fester was that the writers have said no comment and just to watch the show. Does this mean Uncle Fester will be one of the murder victims? Are they saving him for later? Maybe he'll show up in the last half to help Wednesday. Let's hope it's the latter. Welcome back. Thanks. There's no release date for Wednesday yet. However, from what we could dig up, it's coming in 2022. It seems like a great opportunity for Netflix to release the series around Halloween on <clears throat> a Wednesday? The closest that will be is October 26, 2022. With that said, Tim Burton movies do really well around Christmas time, so if they choose to go down that route or needed more time to finish this series, we can see Netflix releasing it on a Wednesday, maybe December 21st or Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. Regardless, we're excited for Tim Burton's first foray into television and what an excellent property for him to start with. Are you as excited as us? What do you think of the story and this take on the characters? Let us know in the comments below. We do read all of them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.